yourself. Okay, my name is uh, John Rose. Um, started wrestling really about uh, 1995 ish or something. I first got into it when I met the Fout Brothers back in 1990, I want to say. And I started following them around, started setting up rings. Uh, next thing you know, I somehow ended up on the broadcast team and then somehow ended up wrestling. Later on, I got into owning and promoting. There's not a thing I haven't done. And uh, I, just, I just love this business. And I love Pro Wrestling King. Years in the business? Uh, like I said, I started, uh, I'm going to say probably close to 20. Okay. Uh, favorite wrestlers growing up? Favorite wrestlers growing up? Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer, uh, Jerry Lawler, Michael Hayes, Dusty Rhodes, and the Wild Eye Boys. And, uh, who trained you when you wrestled? I was trained by Larry Grottenhaller. And what inspires you, I should say, what inspires you now to promote? Uh, just seeing the younger guys come up, uh, there's always newer people coming in and it makes it exciting. When you guy, when you got guys like uh, Rancid Joe Rack on the card, um, who's just starting off, and you got Austin Fury on the card, who's just starting off, and you see all these young kids, uh, Theo, Valent uh, the Theo Storm, and Noah Walker, who's been around a while, but still, he's just starting to get into that mode where things are really, really exciting for him and starting to come together. And that's what keeps me going, and that's why I love it. And what advice would you give to someone who wants to be a pro wrestler? You have to want it. Um, the one thing I will tell you is uh, you've got to be here early and help set up the ring. you got to tear it down. Sometimes you got to drive two, three, four hours. Come here, Dan. Come here. Sit right here for a second. Hope you don't mind, Steve. Hello. This young man here is the referee. He's in our training school. Now, he gets off at 5 or 6 o'clock at night on Thursdays, rushes to the training school to maybe get an hour's worth of practice in. But that means a lot to him. He's here every time tearing the ring up, tearing the ring down. He's refereeing now, but his, his ultimate goal is like everybody else's, is to be a pro wrestler. And this kid gets it. He wants it. You have to want it. You have to put in the extra hours. You have to work. If you're not going to put the extra hours in and you don't want to work, you know what? Get out of this business. We've got no room for you. And how was Pro Wrestling King created? Uh, actually, it was created by uh, my partner, Eric King who for some reason isn't standing around here right now. And, uh, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, there he is. What's up? Why don't you tell them how hey. King was created? Uh, well, we started out about 2007, and uh, we started out as Underground Championship Wrestling over in Steve's Gym uh, up in Elkhart. We were there for, oh, almost six weeks, and then we had a fire. Uh, over at the Steve Jim section and then after that um, Merle um, which fortunately was able to uh, purchase the ring and after that we started running shows down in Bourbon and uh, from there it just kind of snowballed uh, we ran as uh, NWA Underground for a while um, then we uh, separated from them after a bit uh, we ran as Zero One Underground for a bit and then uh, they didn't like the underground uh, word. I guess it was uh, not very well taken in Japan, so we had to drop the underground portion of it. Uh, and then from there, uh, we became underground championship wrestling again. And, and then we uh, ended up uh, teaming with uh, Al, Shell, and uh, Chet Urbanski and we decided that at that point why don't we just come up with something that's original that nobody else has has ever used so uh, we came up with the the pro wrestling king uh, symbol we had that all designed uh, and then uh, mr john rose came on and that's basically the story and that's where we're at today um, 
Uh, would I be able to get you guys close? Sure. Close together. Here, get out of there. I guess I, I guess have, I should have probably done that from the Go. start. <laughs> um, what do you guys look for in workers? In a worker. Hey, hey, hey. What? Sorry. What? What do you guys look for in a worker? What do we look for in a worker? I would say somebody who works hard that really wants to be here. I mean, they, uh, you want somebody that's, uh, like I said earlier, that's going to put in the extra hours, that's going to put in the effort. That's what that's what I'm looking for. What about yourself? Uh, myself, personally, uh, when I go out and scout different guys, I'm looking for people that know how to work the crowd, uh, that are able to bring the the crowd into being a part of the show uh, because that's basically what Pro Wrestling King is. The, the crowd is basically part of what we do and we, we tell a lot of stories and we want somebody that's able to do that. And I will say this, I really honestly believe that we are, uh, along with ARW Pro, uh, we are one of the most story driven companies you'll see, along with yeah. ARW Pro and RCW. Mm -hmm. that, that's correct. Okay. I kind of got my next question, so it's good. <laughs> um, and how do you decide who goes over or who wins a match? Storyline. It just yeah. depends on where we're at in the storyline, and uh, that's, you know, what's beneficial, what's going to help us take it to that next level. And take that person to the next level, and that's who we decide who goes over and who goes under. And I think a lot of it's also determined by how the crowd's reacting to one of our wrestlers, how he's being taken. Is he, is as a heel? Is he really? Is he getting the heat that he's really going out and trying to get, or is he the the baby face that just everybody loves? And I think that's kind of will determine you know how we're and then you proceed. get into a situation like we have just recently where a heel is just so loved he's cheered and you're like okay now we got to make a change mm -hmm. and that's what's happened with one guy in particular on our roster i'm not going to mention anything except about his shiny bald head but no. yeah. <laughs> you guys have anything that you'd like to say Anything about your company? Anything about the wrestling business? Uh, I, I just think the, the the indies right now they're it's on a it's on a, a peak. I think it's hot right now. Um, I've seen it where there's been one or two people in the crowd and here lately. It just seems like the crowds have been building and getting behind what indie wrestling is all about. So.